Hi everybody, I'm Joanne Smith. I play the auto harp and I've been asked by a couple of auto harp players that uh, are considering getting a diatonic auto harp and they're wanting to get a two key diatonic auto harp. And what, um, what they're asking me is what are the benefits of having lock bars? Number one, what are they? And number two, how do they work? And um, how do they um, enhance your playing? Um, as far as diatonic is concerned. So I do have a two key diatonic here that I'm going to use as an example. It is strung in the keys of F and C. This is made by uh, Ken Ellis of Whippoorwill Acoustics and I'm giving it a trial run here. And this one is kept set up in the keys of F and C. So what this tells, um, tells you is that it has only the notes that are available in the key of F, which would be F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, um, an F, so those seven notes, but it also contains the notes of uh, the scale of C, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So the only difference between the scale of F and the scale of C is that the scale of F has B flat and the key of C uh, scale has the B natural. So what the lock bar does if um, I engage the lock bar, which here is the C lock bar, if I push that down, and then he's got a little mechanism here that holds it down, what that does is that blocks out all the B flat notes, all the strings that ring B flat. So those are muted so that they don't sound when I'm playing in the key of C. Now if I want to play in the key of F, I push the F lock bar down, release the C lock bar, and what that F lock bar does is it uh, blocks out all of the B naturals, okay, so that they don't ring. And so I only have the, the B flat for the key of F. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, in diatonic auto harp playing, and one of the things that I like to do a lot is to play the notes of a song um, like in between chord bar changes, uh, grab a note on the fly, as it were, so that it uh, you don't have to have a chord bar pushed down every single time when you're making uh, playing a song. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a little tune for you called South Wind, and it's in the key of F. And first I'm going to play it, um, I'm hoping that you can see my hands down here. Uh, this is the F major, this is C major, this is G major, and I've also got uh, like a, a C7 in here, and so that what that does is those are the chords that I'm going to need for this song, and I'm going to play it first by pushing a chord bar, bar down every time I um, play a melody note so that um, I can make sure that I get uh, the right notes. So anyway, here we go, South Wind. Now, um, I told you wrong there at first. I, was, I told you I was using the uh, F major, C major, and G major. Actually, I was using F major, C major, and B flat major, okay, because we're in the key of F. Anyway, chord theory still confuses me, okay? Anyway, so what I did was I pushed down on a chord every time I wanted to get a new melody note. Now what I'm going to do, I have the lock bar engaged for the key of F, so now I'm going to grab notes in between those chord bar changes without changing the chord every single time and what that's going to do is smooth out the music and you'll be able to hear the difference. I'm hoping that you can see my hands down here. I'm going to try to uh, make it um, apparent 
when I'm I'll kind of over exaggerate when I lift off of a chord bar and play a note that's open. So anyway, here we go. So there's the difference. I played some of the notes open and having the lock bar allows you to do that. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, only I'm going to disengage the F lock bar. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow all those B natural notes to be in there too and there's a good possibility I might hit one of those by accident. And that's what the lock bar does is it helps you um, play cleaner. So let's go ahead and disengage that uh, F lock bar. And let's see here. Okay. Okay. So now I have no locks on, and I'm going to play open noted again uh, the uh, Southwind song. So we'll see if that uh, B natural shows up in there anywhere. Okay, so you can kind of uh, get the idea of why you would want to have lock bars. Now, the reason that I kept hitting it was because the B natural is right next to the B flat. Okay, so it's really hard to pick out one string when they're only a quarter of an inch apart. And so uh, the lock bar uh, gives you uh, more of a chance of, of hitting the correct one without hitting that one out of uh, sync note. So anyway, um, I'm going to put the lock bar back on and I'm going to show you um, a couple of other things, another, um, a few more open noting techniques. You'll notice I'm wor uh, wearing um, uh, metal finger picks and uh, usually what I do is I, um, uh, my phone ringing, <laughs> anyway, uh, by aiming directly at the strings, I have a, um, a melody note picking uh, type of um, video that's out there. That you can look it up but anyway i'm going to get that in there so you can kind of see how i have my uh, finger picks arranged so that they aim right down you'll notice that i keep my fingers curled that helps me get the right notes um, more accurately but anyway i'm going to try to put a few little pretty little runs in there with the open noting uh, on the uh, south wind song here we go Anyway, that's what lock bars are for, and if you have any questions, I'm going to be posting some, uh, some information periodically on my website um, at autoharpist.com, and also check out my face Facebook page. Uh, just search for Joanne Smith Auto Harpist, and you'll find me. Have a good day.